Hey you guys, it's Sam. So let me ask you a question. Is this phone app as hard for you to use as it is for me? What if it looked like this? Well today on The Blind Spot, I'm going to show you how to get it. So this is the default dialer for Android. It's part of their material design, it's clean, it's minimalistic, it's everything that they want it to be. But unfortunately, it's also nearly impossible for me to use. But as always, with Android, if there's an application that doesn't quite work right for you, you can just go into the Play Store and find one that does. And in this case, it's EX Dialer. EX Dialer is a dialer and contacts replacement application. And the best part about this is it's customizable. Up here in this black section, you would have a list of your recent calls. You can swipe down on the dialer to get rid of it so you can see the full list of your call log. To the bottom left is a quick shortcut into the contacts portion of the application. If we click on the menu buttons down at the bottom right, we get some options, one of which is preferences. Here is where we can customize this application. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the settings, but it does support themes as well as plugins. And I've downloaded several themes here. There are tons of themes you can get for free on the Play Store. Down at the bottom, you have a button for Get More Themes, as well as a button for Theme Switcher. You can set this to every time you launch the application, a different theme appears. So we can just click on a theme, and you can either apply the theme or set it as one of the multiple themes. If we click on Get More Themes, it launches us into the Play Store where you can scroll through a seemingly endless list of themes, all kinds of colors and designs. I tend to stick to the dark themes. I like a theme that has high contrast between the buttons and the background. That makes it easier for me to see the buttons. Like the theme I'm currently running here, you can see it has gray buttons against a black background, so there's that contrast. Now, as I said before, this does support plugins. I don't currently have any installed, but you can click on the Get More Plugins button there. We'll take you back into the Play Store where you can once again find a long list of plugins to install. Going back to the settings, we have lots of options in the Behavior section. Some of these include enabling Call Confirm, customizing the Speed Dial options, setting your swipe item, as well as even turning on a tiny dial pad that will pop up on your home screen. Now, in my opinion, of course, the most important settings are in the appearance section. Here you can adjust the text size of the dialer, even the size of the dialer. You can make the actual dialer larger on your screen to make it easier to see. You can adjust the font, you can adjust the difference between the number font and the ABC letter font on each button, as well as many other things. We can take a quick look into the contacts side of this application. Now, of course, this is the way it looks with the theme that I'm running. It will look slightly different depending on which theme you choose. But you can see that there's a picture at the top with the name of the contact. You have the numbers and relevant information for that contact as far as address, email, uh, if you have a ringtone set, things like that. Then down at the bottom, I love this big, prominent, easy to see buttons for calling the contact and also sending a text message. So that's it guys. That is a quick look at the EX Dialer. The ability to change the theme as well as add plugins and fully customize the look of this application is why it is my number one pick for a replacement dialer and contacts app. Thank you very much for watching guys. This is Sam once again with the blind spot. I will see you next time.